Preventing extinction with a genetic deep freeze. This is the biobank, a frozen repository of sperm, eggs, DNA and cells from dozens of endangered animal species. It's all shared with other zoos and used in breeding programs here in Toronto, but it has other goals as well. Understanding reproductive health, making babies, um, so uh, re reproducing the genetic material for the future, but uh, a big mandate of ours is also the long-term vision, so the long-term banking, and that's where the biobank plays a big role in what we do. There's genetic material from around the world at the biobank here, but there's also a strong emphasis on wildlife and endangered species in Canada. Wood bison once thrived in the north. Some of this captive herd came from the biobank, but the wild population is infected with tuberculosis from cattle, a familiar pattern in Canada where encroachment by humans isn't the main challenge to wild animals. Although we have a lot of land, it's the fact that we are creating isolated populations. As soon as a highway goes in or a mine goes in, you've cut them off from each other because they don't have genetic flow anymore between them. The Vancouver Island marmot might have already been extinct if animals like this one named Herman weren't bred in Toronto from stored genetic material. He's also part of the photo art project by Joel Sartore of National Geographic, who has already taken powerful images of half of the more than 6,000 species in captivity around the world. Zoos have some of the last populations of these animals and are breeding them to save these species. So um, when people want to get upset with zoos for keeping animals captive and they say, let animals go, I say, well, let them go where? The last place these animals exist are in zoos. Notoriously unwilling to breed naturally, the giant panda Urshun was just given frozen sperm sent to Canada from China. Now researchers in both countries anxiously wait to see if she gets pregnant. Helping creatures like these survive the ravages of sharing space with humans, the biobank and others like it are fighting to keep the world's animal species alive. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Toronto.